We were recently approached by a customer who was looking for a customized pick and place solution in a lab setting. The problem was to move small microtubes between different microplates on a desk. The desk dimensions were approximately 120 by 70 cm. There are two hardware challenges that we're dealing with in this problem. First one was fixing the microplates on the desk so the robot can work on them and they don't move around and the user can put them on the fixture and remove them easily. Second one was picking the small tubes reliably from the plates without disturbing the neighboring ones. As you can see, there is a very small space between the neighboring microtubes on a plate. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the steps that it took to design a solution for this problem. As part of our solution, we use the 1 meter rail with the robot. This gives the robot full access to all points on the desk to work on. For the fixturing part, we made four fixture plates where each plate can hold up to eight microplates. The fixture plates and the rail are connected together so the relative positions are fixed. We made the fixture plates out of 10 mm aluminum and finished them with anodized coating. The slots for the microplates are designed so they can be put in and removed from fixtures with no effort and at the same time they have almost no play when they are in the slots. Next up is the design of the gripper. For these types of applications where the size of the object is fixed, we usually use pneumatic grippers. They have simple structure, are very easy to operate and program, and are relatively low cost. While the gripper is simple, you can attach any fancy finger to the gripper using the threaded holes on the gripper. For this problem, we decided to use 4 jaw gripper so more points of contact will prevent the microtubes from tilting while being picked. For the tip of the fingers, we use these 3mm special screws which can easily fit in the space between the microtubes. We designed the base of the finger so when the gripper is open, the tips are in the middle of the space between the microtubes and when the gripper is closed, the tips are surrounding the tubes. This means that we need to limit the travel of the gripper jaws from 4mm to 2mm. For that, we designed the bases such that they collide and stop the jaws at 2mm travel limit. The bases are machined out of aluminum for sturdiness and durability. Here is the final assembly of the gripper. Now that we have all hardware components made and assembled, it's time to program the robot. The goal is for the user to specify the location of the microtube that needs to be picked and the final location of the microtube. We will demonstrate how to plan the moves between two microplates, but it's easy to extend the logic to all 16 microplates. For programming the robot, we have multiple options. Using the robot commands in the scripting window, using Blockly or using Python. Here we're going to use Python because it is more flexible and gives the option for the program to get the user input for the pick and place locations. Python is already installed on Dorna controller and you can directly write your code and execute it on the controller. Dorna Lab provides two ways of writing and running your Python codes. You can either use the Python tab in Dorna Lab or use the Jupyter Notebook tab to access Python. We will use Jupyter Notebook in this example. The programming sequence is simple. We find the location of the two corner microtubes on each microplate and then interpolate the location of all other microtubes in that microplate from those two locations. To get the corner location of the microplates, we move the robot by hand close to the corners and using the jogging buttons in Dorna Lab, we get to the exact corner location and then record the values using record button.
This is the interpolation function. It gets the corner positions of the microplate and the row and the column number of the desired microtube and applies a linear interpolation to find the location of the desired microtube. Here we get the indices of the initial and final microtubes from the user and find their respective positions by calling the interpolation function. Then we design a sequence of moves as follows. First we open the gripper. Then we move to a safe height above the initial point. Then we adjust the orientation of the gripper so the fingertips are aligned with the spaces between microtubes. Next we move down, close the gripper, and move up again. We go to the final point and repeat the same sequence but only open the gripper when we place the microtube to the desired location. Here we ask the program to pick from the column 9 and row 3 of the first microplate and place it on row 4 and column 4 of the second microplate. Here is the result. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know if you have any questions by leaving a comment here or contacting us through the contact page at dorna.ai.